Hi everyone, my name is Pun, and it's been a minute since I've read a good fantasy book, so today we're going to get back into some fantasy reads. Can you guess what we're going to start off with? Of course, we have to start off with a classic, The Hobbit. Next, we'll get into Powerless, and if you've watched my other videos, you know I was kind of hesitant to get into this, to get into Powerless, but I'm trying not to say too much to not spoil the video because I have already read these books and I considered getting into the Throne of Glass series, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Grab a book of your own and let's read together. goodness it has been such a fun and magical read so far the illustrations in this book have really added to the magic and the whimsicalness if those are words i don't know but it has really added to the book i'm on chapter five and Bilbo baggins has just found the ring so this is fun to read so he crawled along for a good way till suddenly his hand met what felt like a tiny ring of cold metal lying on the floor of the tunnel. It was a turning point in his career, but he did not know it. So I have about a little over 200 more pages to read in this book. So far, I am enjoying it. Um, the writing has been pretty good and just given all the whimsical feels because imagine imagine just randomly waking up one morning and a bunch of people come over unexpectedly and it's like let's go on an adventure and off you go this might be irrelevant to this video but i just gotta say i love when libby has audiobooks that you want to listen to available because although i just got my audible subscription they really don't have that much in there that's included in the Auto audible plus library and you only get one credit a month which i used that on butcher and blackbird which i guess i didn't mention i have finished butcher and blackbird and that was so unexpectedly good like it was criminal minds because it talked about serial killers and all that it gave me Criminal Minds vibes plus there was a little bit of romance and dark humor in it and the romance didn't start kicking in to like maybe the halfway mark and it was very much open door. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, anyways, I rated it 5 out of 5. Back to what I was talking about. Audiobooks on Libby, when it's available, is good. And right now I just borrowed some really good selections can't even see that, can you? So yeah, I have some pretty good selections right now. So we have The Perfect Son by Frida McFadden. We have The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. And Maybe in Another Life 
by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I don't normally listen to audiobooks, but since I've been taking my walks, they're nice. They're nice to listen to and just zone out and just walk forever. Kind of. Not really, but it makes it less boring. I am going to finish up The Hobbit tonight because I've been meaning to finish this and I feel like I've just been putting it off. I only have like 40 pages left. I've been putting it off because at this point, like, I know what's going to happen. Like, they've been on this quest, this journey, and you know they're going to get the gold at the end. So... I want to finish this up and move on to the other fantasy books. I finally finished reading The Hobbit last night. It was a fun read. I had a good time reading this. I felt like I was on the little adventure with them, getting into li different little mishaps and such. It was good. I really enjoyed it. Although it's not my normal read, I still really enjoyed the writing. The writing really captured the magical and the whimsical adventure feel of the story so I really I really enjoyed it although I did for the last little bit I did kind of struggle to finish it because I just I just kind of knew how the story would wrap up I did finish it and it was it was fun there was a little bit could you call it a twist maybe because not everyone makes it out alive. On the back here, there's some reviews and it says the English speaking world is divided into those who have read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and those who are going to read them. Sunday Times. For those that are like me that have always kind of heard about The Hobbit or have watched the movies, I've watched Lord of the Rings. I haven't watched The Hobbit yet. For those that don't know the full story, there will be no spoilers, of course. Yeah, if you've always thought about reading this, if you've enjoyed the movies, it's definitely worth a read. You can just knock it out real quick. It's, it's really not that long. It just looks thick because there's some illustrations added in here. With the illustrations here, this book is only 272 pages long with the illustrations. This was first written as a children's story which so going in I was kind of iffy on is it gonna be too young for me but it wasn't it was just a little little fun read and um of course before I get into the modern fantasy books I wanted to to read this first isn't this the beginning of it all after watching Lord of the Rings and reading this I can definitely see where modern fantasies get their inspirations from and of course I do want to read the Lord of the Rings next I just I don't know when yet because there are a couple other fantasy books that I I want to read first so I rambled on all that to say I would give this book because it's not my normal or normal type of book that I would read, but I still really enjoyed it. So I would give it about a four or a four and a half. I enjoyed the writing. Yeah, you just have to read it because it feels like you're on the little adventure. It never felt like you were, like it felt like you were in it. It never felt like 
you weren't part of it. Definitely worth a read. And now that I got my basis for fantasy done, I'm ready to move on to modern fantasies. far into the book yet. I'm only on chapter 8, but I am at the point where our two main characters have met and it's getting interesting. Okay, no, this is fun because she saved the prince. This is getting interesting. She saved the prince and now she's about to get entered into the trials or... What do they call it? Yeah, the purging trials. I can see why people said this reminded them of the Hunger Games because, yeah. Being an ordinary has his perks. He says, I like a challenge. Yep, this is definitely Hunger Games inspired. chapter 37 page 321 and so far this is sitting at a solid four stars for me i am really enjoying this book i am loving the slow burn and i feel like our two main characters have survived a lot together already and um i'm just ready for them to take it to the next step you know like they've i don't think they've even kissed honestly i don't think they've even kissed at this point and it's about time yeah i'm really enjoying this book it's a fun little story it is definitely definitely giving hunger games but in a good way um i'm still enjoying it i was i was concerned that it was going to be straight copy and paste and nothing new but it's got his own little twist to it so it's fun it's been fun to read so far i love that it's kind of unrealistic in a way she just kind of grew up with nothing and then the people nominate her to go in these trials kind of like like hunger game trials right like a fighting competition because she's a good fighter but anyways a girl that comes from nothing that is just kind of proving everyone wrong. I also love how like the brothers are kind of crushing on her and we know who she's going to end up with but it's still fun to see. I felt like the part about her dress just was like cliche and of course she would show up with the dress that's totally different from all the other girls <laughs> but other than that, so far, solid four stars. So far, I am loving the little tension. They're like just kind of messing with each other, kind of toying with each other. So it's it's been fun. But I am excited to find out what happens. No, because he did not stutter. You're literally joking. The whisper of a kiss 
it's time for the final trial now, so hope this is interesting. Okay, this might be a spoiler, but why is the last trial giving Maze Runner? No freaking way. I did not see that coming. This part is so sad. No one told me there was a sad part in this book. I only have this little bit left, so let's finish this book up today. I've just finished this book and I'm sorry. What was this book? The ending? Y'all did me dirty. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize there was so... Uh, the tension at the end. I am unwell. When I first finished it, I was... I was mad. <laughs> I was mad. I was like, are you kidding? I don't blame Miss Lauren Roberts for wanting us to come back to the second book, which I looked up and we have a novella coming April 30th. And then the second book comes out July 2nd. And it is currently March. The novella coming out the end of next month is about a different character in this book. And then I have to wait till July for the second book. Now I kind of wish that I would have put this book off <laughs> and read it sooner, closer to July because I need to know what happens. I am just, I'm at a loss for words. I've just finished this book. What's the age rating for this? Because it seems, I think it's made for sh an imprint of Simon and Schuster children's publishing division for younger audiences regardless as an adult i still found this book to be pretty entertaining like the interactions between the characters kept my attention i don't know how old were these characters supposed to be but their age doesn't really get brought up that much so it was easy to imagine them at whatever age they might have been 18, I don't know, but I imagine them to be in their 20s. If I didn't mention, I've just finished this book, so I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. I was so sure I was going to give it a 4 because I was like, uh, but then, who the heck is calling me? Alright, so back to this book. Got a little distracted with my phone call there. Sorry about that, Um, but back to this book. What was I saying? Oh, I think I was saying I was thinking this was like four stars because it was, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't anything. And then immediately after I finished it, that ending had me a little bit, a little bit mad. But now I think I'm sitting at maybe four and a half. But Goodreads doesn't do half, half star ratings. So do I put a four or five? Do you guys struggle with this too? Anyways, I think I'm leaning towards like a four and a half on this book. I I really enjoyed it. I liked the character's personality and backstory. There were some aspects of this book, like the different trials and such, that was very much inspired by other stories. But I still really like the characters. I was going to say there were a couple of twists like things that I didn't expect that happened. But at the same time, like I, you kind of knew. It was just nice to watch the characters grow and come into themselves and just like learn to think for themselves and just make their own decisions. Just growing up and becoming independent, I think is the, maybe the moral of the story. If you're on the fence about reading this book, just read it. There were no explicit scenes. Uh, they barely kissed <laughs> in one scene, but that was about the extent of that. But that ending, that ending was dark. Lauren Roberts knew what she was doing. 
making us want the second book. I don't blame you. Get your money, girl, but what? I'm gonna need a minute to recover. I've been rambling on long enough. Four and a half stars. If you're on the fence, read it. Read this book. That's all I can tell you. Although, maybe wait till July <laughs> to read it so you don't have to wait so long for the second one to come out. All right, so these were the two books that we got into in this video. A classic, The Hobbit. I really liked the writing in this. You felt like you were going on an adventure with all of these characters. I do plan on reading The Lord of the Rings sometime in the future. I don't know when yet. You'll just have to stick around and see. <laughs> Goodbye. If and when I do. And then we read A Modern Fantasy, Powerless, and you guys were telling the truth. This was such a fun read. The story was definitely inspired by other stories, but I still had a fun time reading it. I've come to find that if I like the characters in a book, I'm gonna like the book. I like more character-driven stories versus like a plot. Well, I take that back. I do like good plots. That also makes it a good story. But the world building, I, you know, it doesn't have to be like the strongest world building. I just love, if I love the characters, I'm gonna love the book. Don't you love the green in this book? I've realized a minute ago that I'm unintentionally matching these, these books, but this green is just superior. And also, I think this, isn't this green like this kingdom's colors? Very on brand. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts on them. I can't wait for the second one to come out. That's the only downside of reading a current series. You have to wait for the next one to come out. Thanks for joining me on my reads and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!